Hello and welcome back to another MLB The Show video and this is one that I've been really excited to start for a long time this year. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't done it sooner, but I remember mentioning in my last No Money Spent video that now that I'm done with that, I was going to replace that No Money Spent series with what I'm doing right now. And then I went on to not post for about a month, but we're, we're back on it now. But anyway, this, this series that I'm going to do is going to be pretty self-explanatory. We're calling it the Spinner Series, and it's going to be exactly that. If you've ever seen a Revolution video from Coogs, it's kind of similar to that, but also not really. It's similar in the sense that a wheel is basically randomizing and drafting our team. But what I'm going to do is I'm taking the aspect of choice pretty much completely out of it. So I have a wheel that I'm going to spin and it's going to just randomly pick a player from my inventory here. I'm going to cap it for the offense. We're only going down to golds, so it's going to be every diamond and gold is available. And then for pitching, we're going to do the same thing for relievers, but then for starters, it's going to be only diamonds are available to be drafted. And that's just because I think I still want to stay competitive, even though, you know, there's a very good chance I don't have the best team. But in my opinion, you can still compete with most golds on your offense and a lot. I mean, you, you could some of the low diamond pitchers, especially starting pitchers, could be rough. But I think you can still compete with uh, with those parameters that I'll set up for my team. So when I was coming up with the ideas for this series, I was thinking, well, it's all these drafts like this, but but it's not really a series, you know, it's just kind of a bunch of videos where I draft a new team for each video. And I kind of wanted it to feel like a series. So here's what we're going to do. And I'm actually really excited for this. I think it could be fun. So after I draft my team, if we go into the game online and win, whoever the game tells me is the player of the game will be like the captain for the next team. So basically what that means is that if I win, like if I play today and I win, and let's just say, for example, we have this Dave Kingman that gets put on the team and he he hits two home runs and the game says he's the player of the game. Then for the next episode, Dave Kingman is going to stay on the team and then all the other positions are going to be randomized. And every game we keep winning, we're going to add a captain to the team. So if we go on a winning streak and we have Dave Kingman still left, and then let's say we have like Mike Trout in center, and I don't know, Reggie Jackson and right. And we've won three games in a row and those were the three players of the game. Then the fourth game, we're going to draft everybody but our outfield. You know, I hope I explained that right, but it'll be pretty, pretty easy to, to understand as the series gets picked up. And then every time we lose a game, there's going to be a captain that comes off the team. And that hopefully, hopefully won't happen too much. But if that happens and we have multiple captains on the team at that point, We'll spin a wheel, whoever lands on that, so we got to get rid of for the next game. So the overall goal then for the series, even though I, I can't say with certainty that I'll get there because it'll be a lot of episodes, but the overall goal would ideally be to fill up the entire team with captains. So once again, I hope I explain that good enough that it's understandable, but if not, basically we're just spinning wheels. So without any further ado, we're going to get right into it here. I'm going to draft the starting pitching first, and you can see there, I mean, I have this team of all comments that everyone will be in play, but you can see there that we have 50 diamond starting pitchers. So I have the filter on so that it's only diamonds that are going to be available. So in these four pages, these are who's all available. And then also real quick before we pick our first guy here. I'm going to spin the wheel for all five starting pitchers. Obviously, we're only going to get to use one. So after all five starters are selected, we'll do we'll do another spin of a wheel, one through five, whatever it lands on. That's who we're going to be using for this game. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and spin for our first starting pitcher of the spinner series. And it's going to be number two. That's a good start. So right now, that number two is John smolts and now let's just let's just go right ahead and keep spinning number two again okay we're getting pretty lucky here we got greg maddox that that gives us a good chance of landing on a uh, good starting pitcher here all right spin number three 
Who's it gonna be? Number 36. That's not gonna be as good. Number 36 in the inventory is gonna be 87 player of the month, Tyler Glasnow. So that's not the best, but he's a little deceptive. And spot number four in the rotation is gonna be number 14. So that is future star Bruce Dar Gratterall. Okay. And to round out the starting rotation here, let's see who it lands on. Number 46. So Obviously, I adjusted the wheel as we added diamonds. So number 46 is going to be the last one we have, the lowest overall. And that right now is Jack Flaherty. All right, so let's see who it is that we're going to be pitching with today. Spin the wheel one through five. Hopefully, it lands on one or two. No. Oh, we got two 99s and a pretty solid 93 but the guy we're gonna have to be using is 87 tyler glass now that's the beauty of this series though is we're gonna be thrown into online games with cards that i would never really think to use and that's kind of what makes me excited to do this all right onto the bullpen now we have diamonds and golds in play for this one so you can see there we have 25 diamonds 22 gold so that equals 47 so we got 47 spots on the wheel Let's spin for our first guy right now, and I could really use a strong bullpen, and it's not going to give it to us to start. 36. So number 36 in the inventory is Gold Seth Lugo. He's going up to an 85, and it actually just dawned on me with this whole inside edge thing. I'm actually recording this draft at a different time than I plan on recording the gameplay itself, just to like test things out and make sure everything works. So if Seth Lugo doesn't have the same inside edge when we actually go to play, that's going to be why. I just thought I'd explain that now before any confusion happens. All right, spin number two for the bullpen is going to be number seven. So that, oh, that's a good one. 94 Billy Wagner, one of the better left-handed relievers in the game. So that's a good start to the bullpen. If we can keep it up with these picks and we got number 34, so that's going to be another gold. Another gold righty that's going up to an 85, Ryan Presley. And number seven is who's going to be picked for this one. So that's the same slot as Wagner was. Obviously, it's a different guy, and it's going to be Dennis Eckersley, one of my better relievers to start the year. Haven't used him in a while, though, but he's definitely going to come into the game once Glasnow gets hit around in, like, the second inning. And the next one's going to go to number 16. So that would be Kirby Yates. Okay. Two more bullpen slots to go. And honestly, our bullpen's looking pretty good so far. Can't complain about much. We got number 19 for this one. Another guy I really can't complain about, 85 Kerry Wood. He was another guy that was a staple in this bullpen for me at the beginning of the year. Last bullpen slot to spin for. And it's going to go to number 37. I forgot to uh, adjust the spinner counter, but that's fine. We're still going to be set. The last slot in the bullpen is going to go to Gold Emilio Pagan. So we, we got an okay bullpen. I would have liked to get another lefty, but Billy Wagner should be able to get it done if we get into a sticky situation where we need a lefty all right on to the offensive side of the ball now we're going to start with catcher we've got 23 guys in play because it's golds and diamonds for position players hopefully we can land on a diamond and it's gonna give us number 23 almost the best catcher we could have been using Oh, they actually list normal Posey above prestige Posey in the inventory for some reason. That's kind of interesting, but it doesn't matter because we got to go. Hey, you know what? Actually, this is not bad at all. Live series Mitch Garver is the lowest in the uh, inventory here at number 23. We got a few more options over that first base. 24 diamonds. So we got double the amount of diamonds as we have golds. And we're still going to end up getting a gold. Of course, 25. We were one away from getting a diamond at first base. Another goal, though, that in all honesty, I can't complain too much about Frank Thomas. He's got that crazy power. Well, I guess I shouldn't say crazy power, but for a gold, that's pretty good power. So on to second base, 29 people in the mix here, 18 diamonds and another goal. This is not a lucky start to this series. So number 24 in the second baseman inventory is Whit Merrifield. He's going up on the day. Hopefully he can stay going up. Well, we need a diamond. We got 19 chances to get a diamond for a shortstop we need this and yet again we're getting a gold man i was not expecting the wheel to be this unforgiving third place in the al mvp 
race last year. Marcus Simeon, the goal that short. We really need a diamond, though, to anchor this team. And at third base, another opportunity to get double the amount of diamonds as golds. And I think we got one this time, 15. So the 15th rated diamond in the third baseman inventory is this rookie Ryan Braun. If we face a lefty, it's going to be trouble for that lefty. All right, over to left field now, and it's the first position where we have more golds than diamonds. We need a left-handed bat, though, in this lineup already so far, and we're going to get number 15. So it's going to be another gold bat, a guy that's probably going to be a diamond before too long, but not a lefty. So Giancarlo standing out there in left. If, if we face a lefty pitcher, man, this we could actually have a really good shot, even with all these golds. All right, center field time. My position with the most diamond players, 25, and this is going to be our guy. We landed on number four, and that's going to be prestige Shane Victorino. Yes, I prestiged Shane Victorino. So he's going to be out there in center field. He could be our guy. All right, last starting spot here out in right field. I could still use another lefty. We're going to get number eight. That should be someone solid. It's going to be the 91 Vlad Guerrero from some collection. Why can't I remember? Was it the Nationals collection? And now to the bench. So my plan for the bench was going to start with the highest overall available player for the bench being one overall point below our lowest overall player in the starting lineup. So for this one, since Mitch Garver is our lowest overall player at an 80, we're going to be starting at a max of 79 on the bench. And then we're just going to have the next 100 players below that 79 overall because the wheel I have only goes up to 100. So everyone that's available is going to be a silver because we have, I mean, there's plenty of silvers in this game and it doesn't get down to a bronze before 100. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel for the first time on the bench. We really have a wide range of player quality here we can end up with and we're getting on number 34 i really could not have asked for much of a better silver bench bet here jock peterson all right the next one we're landing on 55 55 is going to be a med rosario so especially if we end up playing with the same inside edge he'll be a good bench bet against lefties so we already got in my opinion a set bench i would like to get a speedy guy though and hopefully number 86 in the inventory will do that I guess Aquino has some speed at 75, but that's who the next guy is going to be. Our second to last bench bat is going to be 92, so a lower overall guy. Now oh, it's going to be Josh Reddick. Boo! Boo! I don't like Josh Reddick. We don't want him on the bench. And the last guy that's going to be picked on the first Spinner Series team is going to be in slot number 27 which is going to be second from the end of the second page. And it's going to be Howie Kendrick. That's actually an electric bench bat. Man, he is a good hitter. And there you have the final team, the first draft of the Spinner Series. One of hopefully our weaker teams that we pick in this series. A lot of golds, but a lot of bats. So we should be able to still hit the ball, especially on all-star difficulty. All right, well, we are now ready to hop into the game. And I will admit... It has been two days since I recorded the draft portion of this. Like I mentioned, I, I wasn't going to do the game right away. And uh, the game just bamboozled me. The inside edges had been like locked the same ever since I recorded the video. So that's two days where the inside edge has been the same. But I also noticed that it had been the same for a couple days before that. Because at the time, Mitch Garver was still like his inside edge was for facing the White Sox. And literally... Like, within probably the last hour or so, the, the inside edges just change. So, we're slightly worse off than we were, because Simeon doesn't have any inside edge today, and Garver is now going down against righties. But, uh, we still got Stan going up against lefties, and Witt going up against righties, so it'll probably be very beneficial if we could face a uh, lefty starter here. But let's head into this game. I am ranked 550 at the time. I This is actually my first game of the season. I just haven't been playing ranked a lot lately. I also feel like I should mention as we're loading in here that uh, I was having all sorts of like issues with my computer and I had to do a bunch of updates. And then after I installed the updates, my like audio sounded different. And that's partially why I didn't record this yesterday because I had issues trying to fix that. So hopefully the audio sounds the same. 
But if it doesn't, that's why, that's the only reason I figured I'd bring it up is if all of a sudden this part of the video sounds a lot different than the first part. But if you remember, well, you do remember because it just happened. But for me, I got to remember Tyler Glass now is our starter, even though we got three guys better than that. We were saddled with the Glass now suggestion. Why did I say suggestion? That's not the word. All right. And we're loading in here on the away team. He's got Cooper on the bump and a lot of home run derby series, guys. That's that's kind of interesting. He's also got Prestige Bellinger. I feel like I should mention, too, that even though I have 99 Smoltz and Maddox, I'm not using them. I'm using this like a normal game. We're not going to throw Glasnow for like an inning and then bring in a 99. I'm going from Glasnow to the bullpen. And the only way we're going to see 99 Maddox or Smoltz is if all seven arms in the bullpen get used up. All right, I do remember in my last bunch of ranked seasons games, I think this is probably now like five or six ranked games in a row that I faced Kluber. But it is all-star Kluber. It's not going to be... Oh, and he's... What's he doing? Why isn't Victorino running? It's not like he would have made it anyway. We had some hard contact there. I don't know if we're going to be able to run it out. No. Stand just too slow. But it was a hard hit ball. We're going to have to keep doing that. Vlad out to center. Another ball is pretty well hit, but it's not going to be able to go anywhere. So that's the first inning of nothing happening. I really hope we don't have to rely on the pitching in this game with Glasnow. All right, another pop-up. It actually turns out to be a pretty quick inning. Eight pitches from Glasnow. That's actually a really good start. Oh, and I went first pitch swinging with Thomas. What is he doing? I want to play an actual game. I don't want to play a farce. Oh, and I just got under it with Garver. Not even, though. Man, that was pretty good contact. I just didn't get... I wonder... Because Garver's uh, inside edge probably had a swing of like 25 overall. He was going up like 15 against righties. Now he's going down like 10. So, man, who knows? If I would have played this just like an hour or so sooner before the inside edge is reset, that one could have been gone from Garver. But now, now we got to deal with this. I turned on the fastball. I don't think that's going to have enough, though. I did not get the PCI on it, but at least I'm timing it up. Oh, my God. Well, at least I'm timing Kluber up. But where is the PCI going? And he fouls up the fastball inside. This guy's actually having trouble with Glass now. Victorino, if that sneaks through, it does. That's going to be our first hit of the game. Fortunately, unfortunately, I mean, it comes with two outs in the inning. And we stole on the right pitch. That one bounces in, so we get up there to second. Probably could have gotten the third, actually. Please get through. Oh, my gosh, what a play from Jackie. Saving a run. That, that literally saved a run. I stole with Victorino to get him in scoring position for exactly that kind of hit up the middle. Another pop-up. This dude, I don't know what it is. He's getting under like every fastball I throw. Not a good spot for the changeup, but he's still popping it up. I might be able to throw this guy anything, and it's just going to get popped up. There it is. There's the first hit allowed. And I knew it as soon as I let go. That was a that was a poorly located two-seamer from Glass now. I thought that was gone off the bat because the ball didn't pop up right away. But Victor, what? That's prestige gold glove Victorino. I get that it was a tough play against the wall, but bouncing off the glove? Are you kidding me? That's going to be a run. I can't come home with it. Oh, my God. Where did this come from? There we go. Perfect, perfect on the first swing after he put up his run. Marcus Simeon getting us on the board. 
I told myself I was gonna lock in because that last inning made me mad. Wow, was he looking yeah, dude, I should not have left Glasnow in. Look at this. Going down 3 0 immediately. At least. Oh, don't you. This, this game. Oh, my God. This might be the most foolish person I've ever played. He's taking out Kluber after I've barely been able to do anything. I mean, I get this is a run scoring opportunity, but buddy, that paid off, didn't it? Please make this play, Simeon. Okay. When it when it gave me control of my pitcher, Glasnow, I got worried. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I do, but I don't. I should have said I don't know what the issue is. Because like I said before, I've been playing the event, which is on All-Star. I've been destroying people, and now for some reason, just because it's ranked, I've only put up four hits through seven innings, and I don't care. We're putting Kerry Wood in. We've got Eckersley as another diamond righty. We also have Yates as another diamond righty. So yeah, especially if he's starting to hit glass now. Well, he already was starting to hit glass now, but he was timing him up, so it's time for him to be done. Eh, missed my spot. Braun, though, look at the fielding. 40-whatever fielding he has. Jock, is that going to land? There it is, Jock Peterson, doing what a leadoff hitter should do. Blooping that one right in over the shift. We got to keep this going. Come on, Shane, please. Oh, that was right down the middle. Please stay fair. It is staying fair. I did not put a good swing on that ball way out in front of it, but we're able to sneak it in down the line. Now we've got two runners in scoring position with nobody out. Oh, I was sitting all over that. Oh, and that's Bellinger. I can't send him. Not on Bellinger's arm. I would have been canned. Oh, oh I... I knew that. I knew that pitch was happening. And I still got fooled. He's... What? He's bringing in Chapman mid at bat to face Frank Thomas. It's 85 Chapman, too. Frank! Oh, my God. I was so worried that we let this inning go to waste. Frank Thomas, though. Oh. The no-doubter off the hanging slider. You can't miss that pitch, and he didn't. All right, I'm honestly hoping, and I think, that this guy is going to have a lot of trouble with Wagner. So hopefully Wagner can stay in for these last two innings, if he does. All right, Billy Wagner striking out Bellinger on the first batter. And there's another strikeout. He can't catch up to him. I might have hit the nail right on the head. When I said this guy was going to have a lot of trouble with Wagner. Alright, let's see if he's ready for a 3-2. I'm giving it right to... Oh. Oh, he was ready for it. I guess I should have known that that would be all he was sitting on on the 3-2 count. Wait a second. He brought in Jack. You're out. Wait, who was playing second for him all game? His second baseman was Cano. <laughs> Why did I think his second baseman was Jackie earlier? He's totally bunting too, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. At least not in that one. Is that actually? No way! If you told me when I threw that that he was going to take it out and he's replaying it, honestly, I don't even blame him. Why am I still throwing with Wagner? Why is he still in the game? Oh my god, what am I thinking? Alright, there goes Griffey. Oh, I cannot believe that he hit back-to-back-to-back -back -back home runs with two outs. But we're going to have to do it. Yep, he's going to bring in the righty to face Braun. And he's... That's... How many early game relievers does this guy have? It's like he got who was the good bullpen right when this game first came out. And he was like, okay, I'm set. Oh, and Braun. Braun's not sneaking it through to start off. Come on, Kerry Wood is definitely hittable. Oh, I didn't even realize this is... 
This is face of the franchise, Kerry Wood. This dude's bringing in a starter to get the close. Of course he would. He replayed two home runs. I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, and Simeon. Even with the good timing swing. You got... The front door slurve. That's how it's going to end. This is, uh... This is potentially one of the more embarrassing games I've played, if I'm being honest. Well, so much for the first game of the Spinner series. <laughs> I really... I really uh, was planning on a much different outcome to that game. Look, he was 528. I was thinking this is going to be a good little start to the series. We're going to we're gonna get a chance to show all of my ideas, how they work, how we're going to keep our captain and all that stuff. But nope, we're, uh, we're taking the L. So yeah, nobody is staying on the team. Every single position is going to get replaced by the spinner in the next episode of spinner series but if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy this concept for a series hit that like button there let me know and subscribe if you want to see more of the spinner series as we go forward as well as some more online and offline and there'll be the show gameplay but until then that's going to do it for me and i'll see all of you in the next